What's up, guys? Ray from here with Slam Zone Sports on my channel. Make sure to rate, like, and subscribe to my channel. Also, guys, make sure to check out Slam Zone Sports. Me and Fatal, or Fatal and I, are working really hard to promote the channel. So you guys can come over, subscribe, all that stuff. We've got Spotify, all that going on. Uh, make sure to check us out because we're putting a lot of work into this. And we need more people over there. The more and more people we get over to it, the more and more we can go live and do watch-alongs again and do the things. We weren't really getting traction. That's why we stopped doing it and doing it on our channels and stuff. So make sure to come out and check us out. I would appreciate it. Um, so now, again, anything to do with Sasha Banks, you know, quotations, we're going to put as rumor. You know, this is rumor. This is not confirmed. Fightful and, and, and all these other places are confirming that she's coming to Wrestle Kingdom 17. But it's expected or rumor or, you know, take everything with a grain of salt. A lot of these wrestling channels out there are literally quoting that she's coming. It's rumor. It's confirmed. And then writing really clickbait titles to get views on this. Sasha Banks signed a wrestling contract. She hasn't signed anything with New Japan. She hasn't signed anything with AEW. This may be a one-off, and this may be maybe a work in a shoot from WWE, maybe trolling us as in people. Maybe this is Sasha Banks, you know, out of her contract. We don't know these answers right now. We, we really don't. And, you know, we don't know all the stuff that happened with WWE. Maybe she's obligated not to talk about it. Maybe she did get out of her contract. We don't know. Uh, Mercedes will update us and let us know what's going on when she can let us know. Maybe she's under a non-compete clause. Maybe she had to sign some documentation to say she can't talk about what's going on currently with WWE. Now, she did file trademarks for the Mercedes gimmick. She did file a bunch of stuff that's been rumbling the audiences and everything on Twitter and all the communities out there for wrestling. We don't know. We're speculating. I'm speculating. We've been speculating where Sasha Banks is going to go, a.k.a. Mercedes Bernardo. We don't know. Until we see her on Wrestle Kingdom or any promotion, we can't, we can't take things as fact. Until it comes from the horse's mouth. Again, I'm speculating. And if, if the other rumor is true that she's coming to AEW and she's going to be inserted in the feud with um, Soraya and Britt Baker and Jamie Hayter, I think they're setting that up for you know either Revolution or... Or double or nothing. You know what I mean? They're setting it up for somewhere in that ballpark if that's the case. And how long did she sign for AEW for? That's going to be your million dollar question too. Is she still in WWE? Is this just WWE trolling us to open up the forbidden door with, uh, you know, with New Japan? We don't know these answers. We'll know next month at the Tokyo Dome. And when we start hearing from Sasha Banks' mouth where she's at and what she's feeling. Sasha Banks has stated before that she wants to go out and do the indie promotion. She is a wrestling person. She didn't like the fact of a lot of things when WWE, when she was part of WWE. And then she also stated that the, that the contract disputes did fall apart, kind of, with WWE at one point. Then she said, we'll wait and see. So I think WWE silently released her. Now, WWE's been doing everything to, you know, show her off, make her feel important. But I think, I think personally, WWE released her. But that's just my personal opinion. I could be completely wrong. We could be completely worked. We don't know. We personally don't know until Sasha Banks sits at a Wrestle Kingdom, wrestles, whatever, comes out, shows up, may have this feud, Kyrie Sane and her for like a next pay per view, whatnot. I, can't see her coming in the ring and challenging her to a match right then and there that night or doing night two. I, I, I just really don't see that. I, I just, I can't see that there, you know, new Japan's all about storytelling and building up things. So I really can't see that either. And with Sasha Banks, are we being worked and, sh and shoot it on? Is this a work? Is this a shoot? What are we doing? The IWC and the YWC believe that this is a work. This is, this is really happening. But most sites, if you're reading this, like if you're reading Fightful, right? If you're reading Fightful, right? Here's reading Fightful, right? If you go over to Fightful and they, they have stating here, the reports, while it's unknown, rather Bernardo or Bernardo, I'm 
butchering her name. I apologize. And I know English is hard for me, but whatever. Um, will be appearing before the live crowd. We were told that New Japan is bringing Vernado in for an event. Fightful cannot confirm this. And the last time, the last time I checked, she was still um, in literally litigation with WWE with lawyers and stuff. So did she get, you know, did she get out of her contract? She had like significant years left on her contract. So again, I, I really like Fightful can report this and a bunch of other dirt sheets can report this and say this, that, and the third until we see it from her herself and we get definitive clear what's next. And, and Tony Khan did state in, in the media scrum or the, uh, investor call that he had some surprises up his sleeve coming soon. He did say this for Ring of Honor and AEW. Does that mean Sasha Banks signed with AEW? I don't know. And for all these other wrestling channels to confirm this and say, oh, she's coming to Wrestle Kingdom, she signed a contract, da, 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 da. You, you can't, you got to take that with a grain of salt. And a lot of it's clickbait too. We cannot confirm this right now. Like, I'm going off of what most of you are seeing as a wrestling reviewer, for Slam Zone Sports with Fatal Streams. We are, when we read this, take everything we say when it comes to news with a grain of salt, unless it's confirmed and it's been official. Unless, you know, unless you cross your I's, dot your T's. You know what I mean? So for right now, Sasha Banks is still under contract with WWE. Um, until we see, you know, from the horse's mouth, Sasha Banks or uh, Mercedes, we cannot take anything factual at this point. Everything is rumor at this point. Take everything with a pinch of salt. This has been Ray from with Slam Zone Sports. Make sure to rate, like, and subscribe to my channel and to Slam Zone Sports. Thank you guys for stopping in. I will see you on the next one. This has been some wrestling news, rumors. Uh, take everything with a grain of salt. Have a good one.